What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, everybody has a lot to say about the pound for pound king, undefeated four division world champion, now unified super welterweight and junior middleweight world champion, Terrence Bud Crawford, who beat Israel Majumov last Saturday and Terrence Bud Crawford is now 41 wins, no loss, no draw, 31 wins by way of knockout. Terrence Crawford is two division undisputed champion and four division world champion. Now, this was Terrence Crawford's first fight at 154 pounds, and he put on a dominating, dazzling performance, so much so in his fight, the last outing against Earl of True Spence Jr last July that he goes the distance for the first time in eight years and in the last 12 fights and now Terrence Crawford is seen is deemed to be overrated nonetheless only one man is vowing to rematch and fight Terrence Crawford and that's Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now confirmed that he and Sebastian Fondor will have their showdown the time frame is questionable, but they're going to fight. Earl Spence and Sebastian Fundora for the WBC title. Earl Spence wants to rematch Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence got dropped three times and stopped in the ninth round. Yet Earl Spence wants to rematch and fight Terrence Crawford again. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is going in, into a fight tomorrow against Sarhe Baranchek tomorrow night and Virgil Ortiz was asked because his excellency Turkey al -Sheik, Prince Turkey al -Sheik, he wants to stage a fight between Virgil Ortiz and Terrence Crawford in February well Virgil Ortiz is talking about he thinks he's going to pursue the initial fight he was supposed to have as the co-main event to Terrence Crawford Israel Majumov it was supposed to be Tim Zhu versus Virgil Ortiz Jr., but Tim Zhu suffered an injury. Now Tim Zhu is going to fight. He's coming back and he's going to fight Mark Ron Bataliev for the IBF title, right? And Tim Zhu expected to win. And Virgil Ortiz is saying he thinks he wants to go that route and fight Tim Zhu Bataliev winner. But you're fighting for the WBC belt the interim belt tomorrow night. And then he says he wants to win us for Bastion Fandora versus Errol Spence. And then he says he wants to test his skill set against Terrence Crawford. He wants to fight Terrence Crawford. He says Terrence Crawford is the pound for pound best fight in the world. He wants to test his skill set against Terrence Crawford. And when asked, do you think you can beat Terrence Crawford in his prime? He's in his prime. Virgil T said, I'm not going to say I can beat him, but I, I'm going to say I, I think I can beat him and I want to test my skills to see if I can beat him eventually. So he's not interested in the Terrence Crawford fight next. He wants to fight and assure, have the best possible uh, scenario where he can become a world champion for the first time officially in his career. And he likes his chances better against Tim Zhu and Errol Spence, Sebastian Fondora winning than he does Terrence Bud Crawford. Sebastian Fondora vacated. Now we know this is political, but he vacated his WBO title as he's the mandatory Terrence Crawford is for the WBO title. As he was the mandatory, made himself the mandatory for Tim Zhu, but Fandora and Tim Zhu ended up fighting for the vacant WBC title and Tim Zhu's WBO title. And Sebastian Fandora got the upset victory in a hard, grueling, nasty fight that Tim Zhu suffered a nasty gash on over his head. And so he's vacating the belt to not fight Terrence Crawford, but that's political. His promoter, manager, Samson Likowick, is saying that you know, uh, they can't make no money with Terrence Crawford. They'd rather fight Errol Spence in, in Texas. So they already have that set up. So Fandora doesn't want to fight Terrence Crawford. This is, this is amazing, right? 
because everybody says that Terrence Crawford looked vulnerable at 154 against Israel Majimov, but nobody's willing to fight him outside of Errol Spence who already fought him and lost. Make things to make you go, hmm. Errol Spence has already fought him and lost, but Errol Spence is the only one that wants to get back in the ring with him. So Errol Spence wants to become a world champion in the second weight class. Terrence Crawford is a world champion in the fourth weight class. Errol Spence is a, a unified champion in welterweight. He's looking to become champion at 154. The second weight class, excuse me. And he beat Sebastian Fundora. Sebastian Fundora is talking about he gonna fight Errol Spence and then somewhere down the line, he'll fight Terrence Crawford. <laughs> this is getting out of, it's getting out of control, people. It's seriously getting out of control. But Terrence Crawford is, everybody uses numbers. Well, he's not a draw, he's not a sell. It's nonsense, man. Nonsense, nonsense. What kind of draw is uh, um, Mokhtar Bartaliev? What what kind of draw is Sebastian Fandora where? Where's the proof of these things? But nonetheless, uh, let's see Jamel Charlo get back in the mix as well. So. Uh, Earl Spence, Sebastian Vendor is confirmed. That's why Sebastian Vendor vacated his belt. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.